morning. Uh, me, Steve Pulaski, and Joe Viso talking now. Movie Pass has in has basically released information. I don't know if you got the email. I, I did get the email like, I got two it. days later after you texted me. Yeah, I did. We I got the email this weekend. My everybody that I know who has Movie Pass has gotten the email. Mm-hmm. So like the three or four people I talked to, I'm in I'm in talks with that have it, including you. We've all gotten it. It's a uh, it's a brand brand new thing they're doing. Uh, if you want, I was gonna say you wanna you wanna take a stab at it and talking about it. Yeah. So the, basically, um, Mitch Lowe's the CEO, uh, sent out an email saying that they're gonna be introducing this thing called high demand pricing, <laughs> and what it is basically is like, let's just say Infinity War was coming out in July. If you wanted to go see Infinity War uh, the weekend it came out, um, and you want to go on Saturday or Friday. You would have to pay... Probably night, probably night. Yeah, at, at night. Uh, if you want to go like 7 o'clock at night, 8 o'clock at night, prime time where a lot of people go see a movie, um, you would have to pay an additional $2. Uh, I guess that's added to your monthly bill. I, I guess. I guess that's how they do because they haven't explained how you're going to do that. If it's like... Or they're going to let you know. Yeah, um, that you will be paying an additional 2 to possibly $6 extra, depending on the movie, the day you go, and the theater, like just like how much of the tickets that Showtime has sold. Yes. So it's basically like if you go see a big movie like Avengers Infinity War, that's basically what will happen to you. However, um, they do allow, and we'll see how long, I'll get to this in a minute, but we'll see how long um, this lasts as well, but they're allowing you to at least have once a month you get that waived. You can go see a high surge price movie once a month. You get one you clearance. You get yeah. one clearance, basically. You get one freebie, one get out of jail free card with that stuff. Um, yep. And then it also goes on to talk about uh, this article on IGN written by Jesse Wade. It also talks about um, how they're adding in new features like you can bring a friend where if there is the e-ticketing available at a theater, you can get a, a ticket right away with a friend. And if they sign up for MoviePass, they get refunded their $10. And, uh, you know, they sign up with their subscription, basically, with that $10. And then they're also be adding in their IMAX and real 3D uh, uh, package deals, which I'm wondering if if you sign up for that package deal, do you all, do you still have to do this high demand pricing? I think you do. Really? I would assume you do. That's just because like now you you're paying more, two. and it's like you have to pay an additional thing because like IMAX and three, like you know IMAX showtimes really don't like sell out as much as like normal standard screenings. No, they usually get some space in there unless it's a huge movie yeah. like opening night. Like I saw what did, what did Marvel movie did I see? I think I saw um, Black Panther maybe? Not Black Panther. It was from Thor Ragnarok. I saw it in IMAX and like most of the theater was pretty empty because it was an IMAX and no one wants to pay 15 bucks compared to 10 bucks or 9 dollars of a standard screening. So it was like I'm wondering if like that surge pricing is going to be added on to that package deal. Sure. Um, no. Oh, and last thing. If you're one of those people that paid, like one of my friends, he got lucky. If you paid say. the year price rather than the monthly subscription like I have, you did a year subscription, you won't have to worry about this surge pricing until your next year, I guess. This is solely for monthly subscribers. Yes, yeah. Not the people who made a, you know, bought the membership, through, the annual membership through Costco or Fandor or whatever it is. Sure. You know, that that's only for monthly subscribers. You hit all the points, though, in terms of, like, they got to bring a friend plan um so like in i guess it's going to be what, what it was saying because that's the thing anything with movie pass they'll do like an announcement but the, it'll be so vague that they gotta wait like you know what i mean you're gonna, you're gonna have to inevitably wait for another announcement because yeah. they really haven't talked about how much more of an increase it's going to be what um general show times it'll affect how it's going to be billed uh i guess I'm you right now if it's like that it's like okay when it comes to big movies like Infinity War, Star Wars. I buy my tickets ahead of time because they sell out. I like to see them like opening day or opening weekend. But if it's like Ant-Man the Wasp, let's just use that example. I can wait till Sunday or Monday to go see that movie. I'm not too yes. crazy about it. I, and then you're this is coming from a movie buff, too, for you. Um, the other thing is I think with the Bring a Friend plan, you're, they're going to have to start allowing in-app purchases. Yeah. You know, with these tickets. I, that's the only way I could see them doing it. Um, yeah, because yeah, you, you, you can only do that Bring a Friend thing where the – to, Frank can buy a ticket with you at the theaters that they have e-ticketing available at. Oh, it's only available at e-ticketing. Yeah. Okay, I, I overlooked that detail. Here's another thing I want to mention. Okay, so this surge pricing, and it's calling it surge pricing or peak. I think they're calling it peak pricing. A lot of people are calling it surge pricing because it's very... If you, it's very Uber esque. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Because that's what Uber does. Like, you know, if you've ever been, um, like, I would go, I go to a couple hey, Cubs. Hey, if you want to go downtown and, uh, yeah. during a Cubs game. I go to a couple Cubs uh, games. Yeah. Believe me, you pay surge pricing to go from, like, you, like, Wrigley Field to Union Station. Uber Eats does this, whereas if it's late at night, for some reason, they charge more because yeah. they probably know you have the munchies. And, 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 and it's less people. It's yeah. less, less Ubers out at this time. Anyway, though, uh, here's the thing, though. Here, here's the thing. And, and then we'll talk more about AMC Stubbs, A list, because I think that this is the best, the bigger story but 
And this is the funny thing with this movie pass surge pricing. You know, they come out with this thing where they come out with this where it's like, okay, you got to pay like two bucks extra or whatever. That's fu- okay, whatever. Like you know, per showing. But here's the aggravating thing. How many, we did a, we did, we, we quoted a study a few weeks ago on air talking about how they said, I think it was over 40% of MoviePass subscribers said that they would be okay paying up to $14.95, up to $20 a month. Uh, $20 a month for the same one movie a day policy. But then they're going to do this surcharge thing that I think is going to be wildly less popular. Yeah. It might not affect somebody like me too much because I go matinee, but I think this is going to affect a lot of people. Maybe what I think that they're, what I think they're banking on though is that the bring a friend plan and the premium features for IMAX and real 3D are going to kind of levy this out. No right. Way. I think because knowing happen- movie pass. This might not stay forever. This might not get. This might not stay forever because they're constantly trying new things, reneging on it, whatever you know, retracting look, look, it. We, we, for a while, it was. It looked like it was going to be a movie once a week. Yeah. And now it's just gone. It, it took a week and it was gone. <laughs> so that's what I wonder. I mean, at the same time, too, it's like, you know. It's a two dollar surcharge then for popular movies, popular showtime. So I can only guess it's going to be movies like in the evening. But at the same time, though, you got to think then. Um, you know, if you want to go to the real, the, the 3D movies, you want to go to the IMAX movies, that's already going to be more money. I could see somebody, like, almost unknowingly, you know, thinking, like, okay, it's only 2 bucks here, but $10 membership. Mm. Let's say you go to three high-demand pricing at that. Let's say that's 6 extra dollars. That's 16 bucks a month. Mm-hmm. Let's say, hypothetical, it's going to be maybe 3 or 4 extra dollars if you want yeah. to go to a premium showing, which is not unreasonable. But let's say you go to one or two of those. You're looking at a bill that's over 25 bucks. Yeah. And, I mean, you know... That's you got. You're really going to want to think about that, especially. That's not even saying if you're going to take advantage of the bring a friend feature. If you take advantage of all three of these things, you could easily have a bill over thirty dollars a month, especially if you go to movies like we do. Oh yeah. If you go to movies like we do, and you know, if you're going to be paying about twenty bucks a month, you might as well take a look at AMC's new program. (laughs) Perfect segue. (laughs) Perfect segue. AMC stubs. A list. I'll explain this one because I, I did a little bit of research on this uh, this past week. Go ahead. So AMC Stubbs A list. AMC Stubbs is not new. Okay, AMC Stubbs has been around for a while. I was a Stubbs membership for I was a Stubbs member, excuse me, for about four years. I, I I've only gone to an AMC theater uh, twice this year. I, I believe twice this year. I've only gone there uh, a couple times. Used to go every week. Used to be my premium theater uh, in a lot of ways. Now I go to Cinemark. I go to Regal. So I don't really go to AMC. AMC anymore. Um, so basically, what this is, though, what this is um, to uh, this AMC Stubbs A list plan is it's three showings on any movie per week. So what that is is it's three it's three showings per week, per week at twenty dollars a month. So that's three movies a week. So that's not a bad that's not a terrible deal. So you have a, you have AMC Stubbs already, which I said is a, it has been around for a while. You have the free large popcorn refill. You have discount Tuesdays. You have you get points for movies and stuff. It it, it happens a lot. Okay, for that it's about twelve dollars a month, or excuse me, twelve dollars a year mm-hmm. for the uh, AMC Stubbs premiere. Now you get this twenty dollars a month program, which you could see th- you could see these. This is where it's different from Movie Pass in a lot of ways. You get three showings per week. You could see three movies in one day. You could see the same movie over again. You can reserve in advance. Whatever you want to do, you get those three movies comped. But only at AMC theaters. Only at AMC theaters. Okay. It resets Friday morning. You also have no rollover theater. You cannot, like, stockpile. It's not like if you don't see any movies one week, then you get six movies the following week. You know, yeah. that doesn't work like that. Um Honestly, this is a solid deal. It is. It's, a it's solid way better deal. than uh, Cinema Pass or whatever it was called. C- uh, uh, Cinemia. 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 Whatever. Cinemia. It's in the grave now. <laughs> <laughs> they're still around. They're still around. I think they're still doing all right. They're introducing family plans and stuff. All right. This is not a terrible alternative, though. Yeah, this is what we've been talking about, though. Yeah. You were saying, like, if Movie Pass is on its way out the door, it's going to go in the grave, it's going to be canceled, bankrupt, whatever, that there was going to be a demand for this monthly subscription uh, at a movie theater. And this looks like a response to it. This looks like AMC's response to that demand. Yeah, AMC's not dumb. They see the plot here. And, I mean, this was – AMC was from day zero, like, or day one after after MoviePass announced that they were going to drop their prices, nine ninety five a month, one movie a day for – one movie a day for a whole month. Mm-hmm. Um, they were – AMC CEO was one of the most critical people about it. He said this is unsustainable. And now they clap back several months later with something like this that's genuinely not bad. And as somebody right now who's moving this week, this weekend, I'm moving. There's going to be an AMC two miles from my house. 
This, I, I'm this gonna, might be it. I'm, maybe. I mean, especially, it's going to depend on whether or not movie pass. How this surge pricing is going to work? Yeah, you know what I mean. Like how exactly this is going to work? A lot of movie passes really just this, wait and see. Are they even going to stick to it? How much longer is it going to be around? Yeah, that sort of thing. This is what sucks for me. The nearest AMC from my house is nine miles. You see, that's that's a little, <laughs> so. It's like I used to go to AMC like crazy when I lived uh, closer to one, and then we moved. Uh, but now it's like I go to Cinemark and El, uh, I almost said Elgin, <laughs> uh, Marcus, Marcus sure. Theaters. Uh, that's the two theater theater chains I go to. So it really sucks. And Regal out here in Naperville from the, time to time when I like you know during school. The only problem I could see with this though, and and it, th- this is me like I, first off I don't like I said I, I you know I've been bitter I've complained about the one AMC theater that I used to go to all the time yeah. that upgraded then to a luxury theater. The only problem that I see with this it's a solid deal. The math checks out. I mean even if you're gonna see three movies a week like if you're allotted three movies a week. Mm-hmm. Th- if you go, I mean, if you go in the evening to AMC, that could be an eleven dollar ticket at an AMC. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So that is not a bad deal for three movies a week, twenty dollars a month. The only thing that I could see is that it's rest- there's two things. Number one, it's restrictive, like a gift card. You can only spend it at AMC. You can only see the movies at AMC theaters. Yeah. Um, which sucks because all my friends want to stay close to their houses and go to Marcus and oh, Cinemark. Oh yeah, and, and, and those theaters, I, I haven't, I've never been to a Marcus theater, but I know they're cheaper than AMC. I can almost infer. They're, they're almost cheap. near their prices really? actually. Yeah, okay. Marcus almost is. Yeah, I mean, because AMC is not cheap. So, so that's number one. It's restrictive, like a gift card. It's like if I give you a twenty dollars gift card to, to McDonald's or whatever, you could only use it at McDonald's. Mm-hmm. So that's this. Um, the other thing is too is that AMC's are becoming more exclusive as is because their seating is getting is, is getting gutted in a lot of theaters. These they're Upgrading to the luxury dine-in theaters, they're losing seating. I told you the one by my house. It was a 3,200 uh, stadium seat theater. It's got 1,500 theaters. The biggest, the 1,500 seats now. The biggest theater is 125 people. You know what I mean? Like, like case in point, I go to, I went to AMC Woodridge. They have a 687 person theater. They call the airport. You know what I mean? <laughs> like that's that that's the difference maker, I think. Isn't uh, the IMAX theater and Navy Pier owned by AMC? I I believe it is. Yes. Okay. I believe that's it what is. I thought. So I'm not opposed to it, but it really depends. I don't know what you, your judgment call on the movie on Movie Pass. The outlook of that is. Hey, it, look, it's going to depend on that. If Movie Pass goes under. I'll sign up for this. I, this is I way better than Cinemia. I think I would too. Cinemia, like I said, I'll deal with the eight mile drive to deal get with this because you know what the best part is about this deal is that yeah, while I deal with that eight mile drive, if I get to that theater at twelve o'clock noon, I could see all three movies that I need to see in one day. 